China has given conditional approval to Cancino, the first domestically developed single-dose COVID-19 vaccine. Unlike most other vaccines, the jab by Cancino Biologics requires only one shot. Researchers said its efficacy rate can reach over 68 percent just 14 days after it's administered. It's also the first and Noviro Vector vaccine approved by the country. This is a type of vaccine that's stable and doesn't need to be kept at really low temperatures. With two new jabs approved this week, China now has four homegrown coronavirus vaccines. The single-dose CanSino vaccine, which is developed by the military scientist Chen Wei's team, has been conditionally authorized for public use. And Chen says it appears highly effective. Our vaccine has been nearly 100% effective in preventing severe symptoms in Pakistan. And the severe illness protection rate from our trials worldwide is also more than 90%. Apart from the efficacy rate, safety is another crucial part of vaccine assessment. And Chen says the CanSino jab has performed strongly on that key issue too. So far, people who have received our vaccine, including those under extreme conditions, have reported no severe side effects. There were no other side effects that were different from other vaccines either. As the country's only single-dose vaccine, the CanSino shot is suspected to be able to reach more people than vaccines that require two inoculations. Our production capacity can reach 500 million this year. And as this is a one-shot vaccine, 500 million doses means 500 million people will be vaccinated, not 250 million. Chen's work isn't finished yet. Her team continues to trace and analyze new virus variants to monitor the vaccine's effectiveness against them. We are analyzing the data using our expertise in genetics and biology and diseases. And we are conducting experiments to examine the cross-reactions of vaccine against the variants first detected in Brazil, South Africa and the UK. Chen's team have already begun developing vaccines that specifically target virus variants. She says although they might never be needed, it's always better to be prepared.